Hi, today is day eight of the 30 tips of confidence, tips for success. I've got to get that right of saying it so many times. Um, so today I want to talk about being authentically you, being popular, being friendly. Now, when you have got low confidence, what you're going to be doing is living an unreal life from the fact that you are possibly not being the real you. Now, I know about that because I was there 30 years ago. And so what that means is that you are doing things or not doing things, doing things to please other people. So that's not for the right reason. It's to keep other people happy instead of yourself happy. Or you're not doing things because you haven't got the confidence to go out and learn how to do them. And so in I, both of those cases, you're, you're, you're living your life sort of under false pretenses and certainly I know what that's like it's like there's something that's not quite right but I haven't quite got it and so when you're living like that you're always living how could I say I used to be with a sad soul now when we look at mind body heart and soul our soul is there to be able to guide us to your highest good and so with that prodding you along, when you aren't being authentic, when you aren't being friendly, when you're um, sort of in the corner of a room instead of being, you know, out talking to people because you haven't got the confidence, then you are less likely to be happy. You are less likely to be, um, um, you know, wanting to go outside of your comfort zone because you haven't got the, the confidence to do it. So when we look at this back to sort of um, to high school days or school days, we sort of hear about girls being popular at school. And so with all of that, there is the being popular at school, but there's also the, the being um, part of a crowd that is not authentically you and maybe even at work or, or where you live or whatever, you're with people that aren't aren't the real you. You're not you're just kind of going along because, you know, that people are friends and might not even be real friends. They're acquaintances and it's something for you to do. But the more confidence you get in yourself, the more you attune to what you want for your own dream life. And the more you learn the skills like communication, who you are, um, relationships, um, you know, uh, how to create boundaries with words and um, the personality of who you are and all those sorts of things. The more you're going to go looking for those to introduce into your life and to incorporate in your life and the happier you're going to become. Because all of that's your journey. Now, if you don't do it, you're just going to stay where you are, boring, you know, and having a life living below potential for the rest of your life. But if you're ready to move forward, book a success strategy call for me. I've been teaching this for 30 odd years. I know the bits that work and the bits that don't work. Um, I don't give those to you. Um, but then we move on so that I can help you ask the right questions to, um, to be able to draw out the dreams and the challenges and give you some tips so that you can succeed. So confidence and being friendly, popular, authentically you go hand in hand because without that you're living a false life below your potential and unhappy. It's time to switch it around.